Hi everyone and welcome to this new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how you can customize the UI of Matt One Analytics in order to make it uh, your own. So there are several things that you can modify. We'll say the first thing is let's say the name of uh, your organization. So this first thing needs to be modified on the measurable. Okay, so measurable correspond to the different website that you're adding to your Matomo instance. And in fact, this given name is control over here. So you can put whatever name you want. Okay. Um, it does not impact the data which are collected within Matomo. And this is where you need to put the name of your company. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is, of course, the logo and the five, uh, the favicon. So those two elements can be changed directly through the general settings. Not that it works for your full instance. So let's say all your websites within this given instance will have uh, this logo and this favicon. So in order to change them, you need to uh, put them over here. Not that the logos in Matomo, from my understanding, has to be um, six times bigger in weights than in eight in order to be displayed uh, properly, at least at the maximum. And regarding the favicon, of course, here it really depends on your uh, logo. In my case, as you can see, if I would have transformed this into one square a favicon, it will not have been rendered properly. So that's the reason why I decided to just take the tank out of it. Okay, so this is the location where uh, you need uh, to insert those logo and your best shot will be to play with uh, software such as GIMP in order to, let's say, change the way that um, the information is displayed in order to see what is the best, uh, let's say, logo you should insert on your website. Okay, so that's the thing. Now, in terms of, uh, let's say, what we call design colors of fonts and so on and so forth, this is something uh, which need to be made through uh, your server. So on your server, uh, within the terminal, you need to go on a plugin, okay? And on the main route, you need to go uh, over here where you have your Matomo installation and here you have the console okay and then this is through the console that you can create your own template this is what I'm going to do right now I'm going to create my template so you need to execute this given line of code console generate time in order to generate the time then you say okay my uh, gorgeous my gorgeous time for example but I prefer to keep uh, let's say just one single word so I'm just going to say let's say single Time without any space. So a time for a demo tutorial. Okay, and uh, here you can leave actually the default version, and that's it. Now your plugin is created because in fact in Matmo everything is a plugin. So time is a plugin, which means that now if you go to CD plugins and then if you go to CD uh, plus the name of your theme then you get it okay so here you have your theme and uh, it has already some information on it which means that there is already one template which is a sign and you can already activate it so once you did this you can go over here you can go in admin and then you can go on plugins and then you can of course start uh, to modify your element so uh, i'm gonna go uh, over uh, over here on plugins where is it plugins Plugins. Okay, over here. And in plugins, you get theme. So you get managing themes here. And now you can activate your own plugin. Okay, so in my case, it's the single uh, theme that the, so I can just click here on activate and now it's activated. So you will see that you have plenty of lovely colors over here. Okay. And this is how it looks like, okay? So you probably want to change those colors by the one that you want. And in order to do so, uh, you need to go back on the terminal and then you need, need to go on CD style sheets because this is where all the magic happen. Actually, it's not 100% correct because you can act on the file which is called singleTem.php. This is what recommend uh, the documentation and to play with this given function over here if you would like to uh, let's say add some extra graphics this is what they are describing over here okay but if you like to have a full control over your time it's better to play on the style sheet so that's why i'm going on the 
on the style sheet. Okay, so here you have one file which is called time.less. So I'm gonna act, go on it like this. Okay, time.less, and here you get, in fact, all the default color that you can see over here. So let's imagine, for example, that I would like to change this. Uh, color over here and I would like to put it in, in white. Uh, all I can do is of course pick up the color which corresponds to this given color. So I'm just going to uh, pick this one and it's going to be oops, like this. So pick up active colors. Okay, you see this is 0091. Okay, so now if I look at this given file and I look for the 0091 EA, I will find it over here. And I'm going to uh, now look at the name, you see it's temp color menu contracts test or either as this one, right, color header background. So now I need to guess, in fact, out of those two colors, which element I'm going to uh, modify. So here probably it's header background because that's uh, the header menu. So I'm going to change this to 00, um, now to FFF, which corresponds to white. Okay. Okay, and now I'm gonna just save my file and I'm gonna just go back over here. I'm gonna refresh my page. And if I'm lucky enough, I will get this one in white or something else in white. Okay, I was lucky for this one. That was the good one. So as you can see, I get my um, my um, my white header and I can also change, of course, uh, the fonts. For example, for my website, the font is a Lato. So I'm gonna go for a Lato and I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to refresh my page and normally the font should be changed as well. Okay, that's great. Um, and in fact, you need to do this like this for all the different elements that you're going to see. And like this, you will get at the end your own uh, theme. So of course, it's going to require you a bit of time in order to make all those changes out. But once you do it properly, you get actually your full um, your full UI um, at the image of your uh, company. And that's it uh, for today. So I hope that now you have at least all the knowledge in order to change the, the logos, the name, and as well the design in terms of colors and font in order to adapt Matomo for your brand image. Once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to share on social network your own experience. Thank you.